Hello, Asian American Pacific Islander Solidarity Club members and friends. To celebrate your one year anniversary, I thought I would give you a small gift from nature today. Please take a walk with me. You probably have seen California redwoods and know that mature trees can be two to three hundred years old and some of them are over 1,000 years old. I don't have to feel old anymore. This one right here can be 500 years old easily. It was here before us and most likely will be here after us. Meanwhile, we get to spend the present time together. What we see outside is magnificent but what's underneath is even more amazing. You see, you might think that the roots of these trees are deep in order to hold up such a big mass for many years. They're actually shallow. They're only about 10 feet deep. Then how are they standing tall for many years? The answer is a sophisticated root network called mycelium. The roots are not only holding up each other, but they communicate with each other. They can detect threats from miles away, and they can send nutrients that are needed for healthy growth. If you think the internet is awesome, then try mycelium. What can we learn from trees? An obvious lesson is to learn and we learn how to take care of each other. We need each other not just to survive, but to elevate the human species to ne the next level. The care is love. Think about people you love in your life. They care for you. They see you. They are there for you in times of need. It's easy to love another when we are in agreement. Things get difficult when that's not the case. Trust me, I understand the feeling of frustration we experience when we don't see things eye to eye. It's easy to forget to love that person who we are in disagreement with. We need to work on our loving muscles daily because if we don't use those muscles, soon we forget how to use them. I'd like to invite you to do this exercise with me. First, think about a person you love and care about. It could be a family member, your best friend. Notice that feeling in you when you think about that person and hold that feeling. Now think about a person you like, perhaps your classmate or a club member. Now send that same love that you felt for your loved ones to that person. Next think about a person who is neutral, a store clerk, mail delivery person or neighbor send that love to that person. Next, think about a stranger, a stranger who sat next to you on the bus or plane, who you passed by on the street, send that same love to that person. How are you doing? Some may find it difficult or some may find it easy. But finally, think about a person you have difficulty with. Yes, that person. Try to send that same love to that person. And think this. Just like me, this person is seeking happiness in their life. Just like me, this person is trying to avoid suffering in their life. Just like me, this person felt sadness, loneliness, and despair like me. Just like me, this person is learning about life.
What you just did is a loving kindness muscle strength exercise from Buddhism called metta. Metta is a Pali word that means loving kindness. It's like building a healthy, strong root system. Our roots have wisdom passed on from our ancestors, just as trees pass on their wisdom over generations. The key for loving life is always not on the surface, it's below the surface as well. I invite you to make time to pause, be still, quiet mind chatters, and listen to your inner wisdom where you find abundance of love. Congratulations on completing the school year. I commend you for your engagement and commitment to make your school a loving space for all. Thank you, and thank you for walking with me today.